Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post weekly videos about business, lifestyle, and entrepreneurship related content. But lately I've been focusing on print on demand content, specifically sites like Redbubble and Society6. So today's video will be another video for you guys that are looking to succeed in print on demand sites. If that sounds like something you're interested in, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this video so I can make more content like this and the algorithm will pick it up. <laughs> So for today's video, I thought I'd take it back to basics and show you guys how to create quick and easy designs on Canva. You can upload these designs as artwork on sites like Redbubble, Society6, TeePublic, Teespring, there's tons of them out there. So you just have to pick a platform that works best for you or pick all of them because then you obviously have more chances of selling on them. But for starters, I would recommend Redbubble because A, I think it's one of the easier ones to use and I have a lot of content on Redbubble so that can help you get started. So I've done videos before about showing you how to upload on Redbubble, how to take pictures for Redbubble, so today naturally I thought I'd make another video about how you can create content to post on Redbubble so that you have multiple avenues of things you can do, whether you like photography or graphic design, I want to give you guys some options so that you have the highest chance of success on there. So if photography is more your thing, then maybe you want to check out the video I'll be linking here because that goes over taking pictures for Redbubble and editing them so that they look nice and people will want to buy them. But for today's video, I'll be focusing on graphic design, so if you're into that, then stay tuned. Alright, so before I get into designing, I'll show you a quick overview of Canva and some of the features that might be beneficial if you're trying to make prints for sites like Site 6 and Redbubble so that you kind of go in there knowing what to look for and how to use it so you don't have to spend too much time learning a new tool and have that set you back as to why you're not making designs for sites like these. So this is the home screen that you see once you log in. You have a bunch of options on the left side there and then at the bottom there's also a few options for different types of designs you can create. But I just went straight to the create a design section in the top right corner and I'm just trying to find the biggest possible dimension I can make the canvas size. So as you can see here, I got 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. Now I clicked into that canvas I made and I get all of the options for designing on the left sidebar there. So I can upload images, I can use images that they have, um, I can use different shapes that they have. As you can see here, they have tons of different options and a lot of them are free, so you don't even need the premium version. So I'm just scrolling down to show you guys how many options there really are and what is available to you. So you can use all of these for your designs and change the colors of them too sometimes. So here is the text section. They give you a ton of templates to work with or you can just pick your own text. And then there's also a music and video section, which I think is part of the premium version. I'm not sure. I just downloaded the free trial for the premium, so I don't believe I had those before. And then here is a background section, which just gives you different patterns and colors and designs for your background. And the templates are just some ideas that they give you of prints that you can make, especially if you're doing like a text-based design. Now that we have the basics out of the way, let's start designing. So I actually don't fully know what I want to design for this video yet, but I do know that I want to keep it in the tropical nature of my store so that it kind of fits the niche that I'm in, and that's about it. So we'll see with those guidelines what I come up with. So now I'll get straight into designing and I'm just going to change my background color to whatever I feel like right now which is gonna be pink because that's kind of my go-to color, pink and blue. But now I'm just looking at different shapes and objects I can add on to my design to create a pattern. So I found this tropical leaf and I'm just playing around with the colors. As you can see, it's very customizable. So that's what I like about this because you can really kind of take what they have and make it your own. So now I put the second shape in here, but I actually ended up not liking it because I feel like it looks like a creepy claw of some weird animal. And then trying to look for some more leaves to put in here. So I actually found this cool leaf, so I want to test that out as opposed to the ones I had before. As you can see, just play around with it, see what you like. I wasn't too decisive when I was designing here, so I went through a lot of just trial and error and seeing what I thought looked good.
I ended up liking these two leaf images and I decided to put some text in the middle there, like a neon sign that said Aloha because I thought that was really cute and tropical. So that's actually the first design I made, but then I thought that it'd be better to make one that's more so a pattern because that's kind of what I'm talking about in this video. So I switched that over here and kind of started from scratch. But so for this one, I wanted to just keep it pretty simple and use line drawings of different plant leaves. and just change some of the colors and copy and paste them around the canvas. So I actually wish I kept the orange leaves in there instead of changing them back to green. So I think I might actually go back and change that if I upload this to Redbubble, which I probably will. But in the moment, I wanted it to be very green, I guess. So after all that work, here is my final design. So as you can see, that was a pretty quick process. I did fast forward through some of it, but it didn't take me more than half an hour to make that. And once you get more familiar with the site itself, you can definitely push out designs in like 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how prepared you are to make that design. For me, I didn't really have a specific vision in mind, so I was kind of playing around with some things just to even show you guys um, some of the different features that you can use. But if you have a specific theme or design in mind, then sometimes it might not take you more than even five to 10 minutes. For example, if you do just some words on a nice background, that shouldn't take you too long. But if you wanna do something that's a little more complex, then maybe up to half an hour. But either way, that's really not a lot of time for something like this. If you were to do it on Photoshop, it would probably take you a little bit longer and it would definitely take you a lot longer to learn the software. I'm not even that good at Photoshop in regards to like graphic design stuff, so I'm like, you know what, I might as well make stuff on Canva or easier tools like that. So now I thought I'd give you guys some quick graphic design tips for prints that you can upload onto these sites, just so that you know what to keep in mind when you're designing and that you're not, you know, going in with a completely blank slate. So I think I mentioned this before in my video where I took a photo for Redbubble and then edited with you guys on the screen, but the same rule applies here. Make as many variations of your print as you can. So right now I'm gonna show you a couple of different variations I made of my original print that I just designed on Canva so that you can see how you can manipulate the colors to get something completely different every time. So this can help increase your exposure and cater to more than just one specific group that would like one of your prints. My second tip is to make repetitive designs or patterns. So as you can see, I did repeat some of the elements in mine as well so that it kind of looked like a pattern and it had a cohesive look to it so that if you were to put it on an item such as a phone case or a pillow it would look like it was meant to be that way and that it's a repetitive pattern without an edge I think those look better on products like that so if you want to aim for selling those type of products I would definitely recommend a more repetitive pattern but if you're looking to more so go into like the t-shirt niche or the wall art then I would recommend something that's not as repetitive and more unique so you can still definitely do graphic design stuff like that on Canva and I can definitely do another video that shows how to design products that are more specific to like t-shirts and wall art but for a lot of the other products I think that repetitive designs look a lot better and another great thing about repetitive patterns is that they are a lot quicker to make whereas if you were to make like a portrait of someone or create a landscape it would take a lot more time because you'd have to make all those individual elements you're not really copying and pasting anything so especially for beginners I think that the easier the artwork is to make, then obviously the more likely you are to make it and then post it on sites like Redbubble. So my third tip for graphic design artwork for sites like this is to keep it simple. Sometimes when you're designing things, you can definitely get carried away and maybe add too much onto the design and it can look cluttered or just I don't know, something off about it. But if you just keep it simple, maybe only put like one to four elements on the pattern and make it look clean because I've noticed that a lot of designs on sites like Redbubble are very simple and they don't have too much going on, they're not too busy. The minimalist trend is really popular right now so that kind of goes in line with this, that people want to buy things that aren't like too in your face so keep that in mind and especially with a lot of household items people want to buy things that are fairly neutral and kind of blend well with the rest of their decorations unless you're looking for like a wall print that's the center of the room then of course you can obviously make art that's as crazy as you want but for things like duvets and bath mats and shower curtains people don't want those to be like the focal point of the room so try to keep that in mind and keep things a little more simple and I feel like more simple will appeal to more people so you may get like a few people that will really love a crazy, I don't know, 20 color print. But most people will like a print that has fewer colors and just looks more simple, in my opinion. 
Let me know if you guys have any other tips for graphic design prints for these sites, like if you keep anything else in mind when you're designing, or if you guys have any do's and don'ts of graphic design for print-on-demand sites, leave them in the comments below and uh, we'll debate them and see if other people agree or not. But for now, that was my process of how to make a quick and easy design on Canva. If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a lot more content like this. I still have tons of print-on-demand video ideas, so don't worry, I'm not running out anytime soon. And yeah, keep the comments coming so that it gives me even more inspiration for videos. And keep letting me know your progress in the comments. I love seeing when other people have made sales. It's so exciting even for me. I want everyone to be able to be successful on these sites. Whether that's, you know, $50 a month or $600 a month, you know, success means different things to different people. And even if this helps someone just pay a few bills a month, I think that's a great opportunity. And it's just one more revenue opportunity that you didn't have before. So thank you so much for watching this video and thank you again for all the support. I can't stop saying that because it's honestly amazing to see just all the love and support I've gotten. I definitely didn't realize how great it was to have a community of people that are kind of on the same page as you and you know kind of want to learn more about the same things as you so thank you again for that and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!